Good morning, good morning. It is D day 383 of From Here to Jerusalem. Am I doing that right? Yes. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. I'm in Chanakala. The harp is inside the house. Uh, yesterday I got to, to walk the last bit uh, from the harbour uh, to, um, to the outskirts of uh, Chanakala. And today is my rest day. Um, we went to see a few things today. Today we're just going to hang out. The harp is taking a day off. And we're going to go for a little man checkup in hospital. And uh, yeah, see what the day brings. I'll see you later. experience in the hospital in here in uh, in uh, Chanakla and after that we went to Bulendburg which apparently has like it's like a few factories and uh, they have like shops all over all over Turkey and Europe and uh, then we went to and uh, then we went to visit with um, some friends. It was really interesting um, chats about uh, the, the, the guy and his wife who we visited, also a Pakistani family. They, um, he was really interested in the old Greek legends and things like that, just like myself. Like, I cannot wait to get to, uh, to Troy. The first lines in uh, the Iliad, the story of the fall of Troy. I'm going to see it. I, I walked there. <laughs> so uh, he had some really interesting questions about Europe and democracy and because it gives an insight into how some Asian groups perceive Europe and uh, the relationship of Europe and America. So that mm -hmm. was uh, the relationship that uh, Europe has with America and how they work together. And I was saying, well, there is actually a division within, within Europe. Is it better or worse that England has left the European Union? As far as power books go, of course, it's better if we work together, like, without a doubt. Um, 
but I can see how um, some in Asian culture people might perceive this as you know they're always at the forefront of wars that's not a good image to have and as an uh, a Dutch person living in Ireland I I certainly hope that that is not the way it is but I can understand how people would come to that conclusion the way especially uh, England has been involved in every single American war in on the Asian continent um, it's not a good look it's not a good look and it's you know you can say oh yeah well money oil all that kind of stuff we have to do better <laughs> end of story like anyway uh the the baby is back for his uh is in now for the rest of his tests and stuff uh he's going to be circumcised uh, uh, fairly soon i think so they needed to do his blood they need to go see the uh anesthesiologist they needed to go do a few other things and um, Anya and myself we came back here um, and I'm gonna do a little bit I'm gonna have a little rest because I haven't rested really oh I think later on uh, the family will come and visit and of course I'll have to play I have to play music because they're going like no you're not walking I'm walking. I am walking. I am walking. No, no. I was saying to Sonia, you should come walk with me for a few weeks. But of course, tomorrow morning, I'm going to move on on my own. Uh, it's been good. It's been good. I'm okay. Uh, I'm tired, though. I'm tired. So I'm going to go have that rest, then do the social thing, and tomorrow we will move on. I've had a look at the, at the roots and stuff. There's still so much, so I'll just take it one map at a time and keep moving. It'll be okay. Uh, tomorrow evening I'll be camping out in... Uh, I'll be camping uh, near Troy. I'd like to go see Troy. Uh, probably gonna take another day. And then we'll move on. Then we'll move on. Uh, Pergamon, Assos. I'm in the land of the Greek legends, like. This part of the world is just. Yeah. Rome is where all our, uh, uh, like, law and stuff comes from, the way we put society together. But this is where things like democracy come from. This is where, you know. Troy is the example of what happens when it all goes wrong. <laughs> Agamemnon, Achilles, Achilles, Achilles's grave is nearby as well. Yeah, go have a rest. <laughs> uh. That hospital, it was so busy in there, like, and there's people waiting for the lift and there's people up and down those stairs and it's like, it's busy, 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 busy. And everybody is running from here to there and you have to go from this department to that department and none of us are speaking enough Turkish to actually understand where we're being sent to. And uh, so if, if you work, uh, healthcare is free, you pay a good chunk of your wages to, um, to, uh, to have this free health care, but it's free once once you're working. It's free uh, if Citizens get free wage uh, get free uh, Health care and then if you're a foreigner depending on where you're from you you pay depending on the wealth of your country There you go uh, So if you if you're from Pakistan, you pay a whole lot less than if you originate in Europe <laughs> it's it's uh yeah and then of course after afterwards the the talk the talk is all about about the politics about who's gonna win and 
you know, up, up to now on the European side, everybody is saying like, get rid, get rid of uh, type Erdogan. Here, it changes a little bit. Um, there's people who are going like, well, they can say they want to get rid of type Erdogan, but Anatolia is 75% of this country and they like him. They like him because he's an Islamist, you know. He's also a populist. Uh, he's definitely not pro-democracy. So I suppose it depends on, it really is. I, I was right in, in what I was saying to these people. You have to look at what you want for the future. And like some of the, 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 the people here who come from outside, they go like, yeah, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Not, I already said this during the Bush administration. Uh, one way of ruling the world, there's no such thing. Like There is ge geographical locations where certain forms of politics don't work. Turkey might just be one of them. I, I don't know. Like I, uh, I know what I would want, but that's of no consequence. It doesn't matter what I think. The other thing that I find really interesting is that, uh, so it's been a, a you know, Pakistani view of the world and they're kind of going like, they can't, you know, if religious backgrounds, they can't even imagine what it would be like to live in, in a society where people just say like, oh, I don't believe in anything. I, I don't believe in anything or I'm a pagan or that's not possible in their in their perception you can say like woo, 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 but like they really feel that's really odd how can you not believe in god and <laughs> yeah i can totally see where they're coming from that if that is the background like people living together without being married having children that's just a no-no and it's not a judgment it's just it doesn't happen in the society where they come from so they they have no um, they have no grip on what that would mean uh, it just it doesn't exist so for them it's really confrontational to hear that yeah there's there is in fact an entire part of a continent that goes like Meh, it's not necessary eh, we're doing that differently we think that that is normal and we can't fathom uh, how it would be if it wasn't like that. So it's really interesting. This is where the open heart, open mind really comes in. Um, I'm trying really not to judge. It's not up to me to say, oh, well, this is right, this is wrong. It just is. This is just how it is. Uh, And they're very convincing, you know, very, very convincing. Also, this this view that, you know, there are people who would who would rather side with Russia than with the Americans. Now I can see where that comes from. You know, if you look at the record of America in in Asia, especially in the Middle East, why would anybody be pro-American? They, they kind of really they're really nonplussed to kind of go like, no. No, they've done a lot of really bad things. They say it's for the good, but that's just propaganda. Which is exactly what Western Europeans would say about Russia. And um, I don't know what is true. I, I don't I don't know. Um But I can totally see how they would come to that conclusion. Very interesting. Really very, very interesting. Uh, yeah. A very, 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 uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit with it and rest for a little bit. My head is, uh, you know, flowing over. Uh, I'm glad I'm not walking today. I'm gonna go lie down now. <laughs> <laughs>